What if I told you the secret to a healthier, happier home might be as simple as adding a few green companions? Some plants go beyond decoration. They're natural air purifiers, stress relievers, and even sleep boosters. In this video, we're going to reveal the seven plants that are the healthiest to have in your home. These plants will not only make your space look more vibrant, but they'll also work behind the scenes to filter harmful toxins, improve your air quality, and create a soothing, peaceful atmosphere. Stick around to learn which plants should be at the top of your list. Let's dive in. Starting our countdown at number seven is Peace Lily. This beautiful plant isn't just a pretty face. It's a hardworking air cleaner too. Peace lilies are known for their ability to remove air pollutants like ammonia, formaldehyde, and volatile organic compounds, VOCs. These are harmful chemicals that can lurk in our homes, often without us even knowing. But how does it work? Well, the peace lily acts like a natural filter. As it grows, it absorbs these nasty pollutants through its leaves and roots. It then breaks them down into harmless substances. This process helps to keep your indoor air fresh and clean. Now, you might be wondering, is it hard to care for? Fortunately, peace lilies are pretty easygoing plants. They're happy in medium to low light conditions. However, if you wanna see those lovely white flowers, try giving your peace lily a bit more bright indirect light. When it comes to watering, peace lilies like their soil moist, but not soggy. A good rule of thumb is to water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Remember, it's better to underwater than overwater these plants. But here's something important to remember. Peace lilies contain a substance called calcium oxalate. This can be harmful if eaten in large amounts. So if you have pets or small children, you might wanna keep your peace lily out of reach just to be safe. Studies have shown that peace lilies can significantly improve indoor air quality. They're so good at it that NASA has even included them in studies about using plants to clean air in space stations. Imagine that. The same plant cleaning your air at home could be used to keep astronauts healthy in space. So by adding a peace lily to your home, you're not just getting a beautiful plant, you're also getting a natural air purifier that works around the clock to keep your air clean and fresh. It's like having your own personal air cleaning system disguised as a lovely house plant. Next up at number six is Golden Pothos. Golden Pothos is great at removing harmful chemicals from your indoor air. It can lower the levels of ozone, which can hurt your lungs if there's too much of it inside. It also gets rid of other bad stuff like formaldehyde and benzene, chemicals that can hide in your home without you knowing. But here's what makes Golden Pothos really special. It can grow almost anywhere. Whether you have a sunny spot or a dark corner, this plant will thrive. It's like having a living air purifier that adapts to your home. Taking care of Golden Pothos is super easy. You don't need to water it every day. In fact, it's better to let the soil dry out between waterings. Just stick your finger in the soil, if it feels dry, it's time to water. If it's still damp, wait a bit longer. This plant is tough and can handle a bit of neglect, making it perfect for busy people or those new to plant care. Golden Pothos is also great for decorating. Its long trailing vines can make any space look greener and more alive. You can put it on a high shelf and let the vines hang down or train them to climb up a wall or trellis. Now here's something important to remember. While Golden Pothos is great for us, it's not so good for pets. If cats or dogs eat this plant, it can make their mouths and stomachs hurt. So if you have furry friends at home, make sure to keep your golden pothos out of their reach. Coming in at number five is spider plant. This amazing plant isn't just pretty to look at. It's a rapid toxin absorber that works hard to keep your air clean from toxic indoor air pollutants. Here's an interesting fact. Spider plants can remove up to 95% of toxic formaldehyde from your indoor air in just 24 hours. That's right, in just one day, this plant can make a huge difference in your air quality. Formaldehyde is a harmful chemical that can be found in many household items, like paper bags and synthetic fabrics. It's not something you want hanging around in your air. Spider plants are easy to grow. They're often called tough plants because they can thrive even when a bit neglected. This makes them perfect for beginners who might forget to water their plants sometimes. Additionally, spider plants like bright to moderate indirect sunlight. This means they can do well in many low light pots in your home. As for watering, spider plants like their soil to have even moisture. One of the coolest things about spider plants is how they grow. They produce long stems with baby plants at the ends. These baby plants called spiderettes can be planted to grow new spider plants. But here's what really sets the spider plant apart. It's speed in cleaning the air. While many plants can help purify your indoor air over time, 
The spider plant works incredibly fast. Remember, it can remove most of the formaldehyde in your air in just one day. Dr. Bill Wolverton, a former NASA research scientist, says the spider plant is one of the most effective plants for removing indoor air pollutants. His research has shown how powerful these plants can be in cleaning our air. Spider plants are safe for pets and children. Unlike some other air purifying plants, they don't contain harmful substances. This makes them a great choice for homes with furry friends or little ones. At number four, we have snake plant also known as mother-in-law's tongue. This plant is a champion when it comes to cleaning your indoor air. It's especially good at removing harmful chemicals like trichloroethylene and benzene. These are toxins that can come from things like paint, furniture, and cleaning products. Here's what makes the snake plant really special. It keeps working even when you're sleeping. Most plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen during the day. But the snake plant does this at night too. This means it's cleaning your air 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's like having a tireless air purifier that never takes a break. Snake plants are very easy to care for. They're tough plants that can handle a bit of neglect. This makes them perfect for busy people or those who sometimes forget to water their plants. They are also not picky when it comes to light conditions. To unlock its maximum potential, experts recommend placing snake plants in well-draining sandy soil. This helps the plant grow its best and stay healthy. Moreover, snake plants aren't just good for your air. They look great too. Their tall, upright leaves add a stylish touch to any room. You can use them to decorate your living room, kitchen, or even your office. They're good to be placed in bedrooms. Remember how we said it keeps working at night? This makes it perfect for your sleeping space. While you're getting your beauty sleep, the snake plant can busily clean your air. By adding a snake plant to your bedroom, you're creating a healthier sleep environment. Imagine waking up every morning to cleaner, fresher air. It's like bringing a bit of nature's air cleaning power right into your bedroom. Next up at number three is English Ivy. This plant is great at reducing carbon dioxide and filtering out harmful chemicals from the air, but its unique properties can remove airborne molds in your home. How does it do that? Well, as English Ivy grows, it absorbs mold spores and other nasty things from the air through its leaves. This process helps keep your indoor air fresh and clean, which is especially good news for people with allergies or asthma. Moreover, it's also great at filtering out other harmful chemicals called VOCs. These are things like benzene, xylene, and toluene that can come from paint, furniture, and cleaning products. For its growing conditions, English Ivy likes bright, indirect light and prefers its soil to be slightly dry. This plant can also be toxic to pets, so place in a place where it can't be reached. Additionally, English Ivy can also be versatile. You can grow it in a hanging basket or train it to climb up a trellis. This means you can use it to add a touch of green to almost any room in your house. Now let's talk about why English Ivy is such a game changer for people with allergies or asthma. Remember how we said it can remove airborne mold? This is huge for anyone who struggles with breathing problems. Mold can trigger allergy symptoms and make asthma worse. So having less of it in your air can make a big difference. Dr. B.C. Wolverton, a former NASA scientist who studied air purifying plants says, English Ivy is a great addition to your home if you struggle with allergies or asthma. Coming in at number two is aloe vera. Aloe vera has been used for centuries as a natural remedy for various ailments. Its thick, fleshy leaves contain a clear gel that's rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. This gel is known for its soothing and healing effects on the skin, making it a go-to solution for minor burns, cuts, and skin irritations. But the benefits of aloe vera don't stop at skin care. Research suggests that this wonder plant may also have immune-boosting properties. Some studies indicate that aloe vera can help stimulate the production of white blood cells, which play a crucial role in fighting off infections and diseases. To use aloe vera for its healing properties, simply cut off a small piece of a mature leaf and squeeze out the gel. You can apply this gel directly to minor burns, cuts, or skin irritations for quick relief. What makes aloe vera unique from other plants we've mentioned is its dual purpose nature. While other plants might focus on air purification or aesthetic appeal, aloe vera combines beauty with practical health benefits. It's like having a living, breathing first aid kit right in your home. One interesting fact about aloe vera is that it reproduces by producing pups or offshoots. These baby plants grow from the base of the mother plant and can be carefully separated and replanted to create new aloe vera plants. This makes it easy to share the benefits of aloe vera with friends and family. 
However, it's important to note that while aloe vera is generally safe for topical use, it can cause irritation in some people. Always do a patch test before applying it to larger areas of skin. Aloe vera plants prefer warm temperatures and can't tolerate frost. So if you live in a colder climate, it's best to keep them indoors. They can tolerate lower light conditions, but they thrive and produce more gel when given plenty of bright, indirect sunlight. Topping our list at number one is rubber plant. This leafy giant isn't just a pretty face, it's a powerhouse when it comes to cleaning your indoor air. With its large, glossy leaves, the rubber plant makes a bold statement in any room. The rubber plant is amazing at absorbing harmful substances from the air. Its big leaves act like natural filters, trapping and breaking down nasty chemicals that can float around in your home. A recent study confirmed that rubber plants are great at removing VOCs in real-world settings. This means they don't just work in lab tests, they work in actual homes like yours. But how do you take care of this air cleaning champion? Don't worry, it's not too hard. Rubber plants like bright light, but not direct sunlight. A spot near a window with a sheer curtain would be perfect. When it comes to watering, they like their soil to be moist, but not soggy. Here's a tip to help your rubber plant work even better. Keep its leaves clean. Dust can build up on those big leaves, which can make it harder for the plant to do its job. A gentle wipe with a damp cloth now and then will keep your rubber plant looking great and working its best. Additionally, the rubber plant isn't just good for your air, it's good for you too. Studies have shown that having plants in your home can help reduce stress and improve your mood. So by adding a rubber plant to your space, you're not just cleaning your air, you're also creating a more relaxing and enjoyable environment. Now let's talk about why the rubber plant is such a game changer for indoor air quality. This plant doesn't just remove one or two types of pollutants, it tackles a whole range of them. This means it's working hard to clean your air all day, every day. Plus, the rubber plant grows quickly. As it gets bigger, it gets even better at cleaning your air. It's like an air purifier that keeps improving over time. And there you have it, the seven plants that are the healthiest to have in your home. From the elegant peace lily to the powerful rubber plant, each one brings unique benefits to your indoor environment. Remember, you don't need to add all seven plants at once. Start with one or two that catch your eye and fit your lifestyle. As you care for these green friends, you'll not only enjoy cleaner air, but also the calming presence of nature in your home. Do you already have any of these plants in your home or are you thinking about adding one? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest health tips and information. Also, don't forget to check out our merchandise and please consider sending us a super thanks. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content to our community. Thank you for watching and take care of your health.